Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a stone in each ureter. You can see the right kidney. This is the right kidney. This is liver. And kidney shows moderate to severe hydronephrosis. And the kidney measures about 11.7 cm with into 5.8 cm with cortical thickness of about 9.1 mm. Now you will see the tracing of the ureter. Tracing of the ureter requires a bit of practice. You can see the proposition. Now you can see the ureter, the upper one third of the ureter, the proximal portion of the ureter. Now you will see the tracing of this ureter up to the stone, up to the site of obstruction. You should keep the probe in a way that ureter must not be go out of sight. You can press inferiorly and medially and keep the ureter in sight. Now this is the right ureter. If you have any doubt, you can use the Doppler to see whether it is a blood vessel or ureter. Ureter have no pulse while the blood vessels have color also the pul pulsation in, its, in it. Now you can see the iliac vessels and at this point the ureter is crossing the iliac vessels. Now you will see the ureter is crossing the iliac vessels. These are the iliac vessels. The blood flow with, but the ureter is crossing. This is the, now the in focus and the center is the, this is right ureter. And it, and as it crosses the ureter, the blood vessel, the ureter crosses the blood vessels, you will see a large stone impacted in the ureter. Now this is right, right ureter and this is the stone. So this is the stone in the right ureter. Hydronephrosis is defined as distension of the renal calces and pelvis with urine as a result of obstruction of the outflow of urine distal to renal pelvis. Hydroureter is defined as the dilatation of the ureter. The presence of hydronephrosis or hydroureter can be physiological or pathological. You can see in this case, this is the stone, quite a large stone, and it measures about 17.0 millimeter, quite a large stone. And the ureter is dilated proportionally to the size of the stone. If the stone is large, the hydroureter will be more, more, the dilatation of the ureter will be more and more as the size increases. Now you will, you are going to see the left kidney and left kidney also shows moderate to severe hydronephrosis. This is left kidney and now you will see the size of the kidney. This kidney measures about 10.8 cm into 5.3 cm with cortical thickness of about 7.1 mm. Now the hydronephrosis can either be acute or chronic. In acute hydronephrosis, full recovery of kidney function is seen. 
हाउ एवर विथ क्रॉनिक आइटोनेफ्रोसिस परमानेंट लॉस ऑफ किडनी फंक्शन इज सीन इवन वंस ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन इज रिमूव नाउ यू आर गोइंग टू सी द ट्रेसिंग ऑफ द लेफ्ट यूरेटर दिस इज द प्रोक्सीमल पोर्शन ऑफ द लेफ्ट यूरेटर एंड यू कैन सी द स्टोन लाइंग इन द प्रोक्सीमल पोर्शन इन द यूरेटर द स्टोन इज सीन इन द यूरेटर just as it comes out of the kidney this is the stone you can see the stone shadowing and this stone looks smaller than the stone seen in the right ureter this is right left ureter and this is the stone now you will see the measurement of this stone and this stone measures about 13.1 mm this is also quite a large stone as the ureter is not able to accommodate and pass it very easily larger is this stone more it will take time to pass now you can see the unit bladder and unit bladder is having a small amount of urine no stone or any abnormality seen in the unit bladder i don't know process is not a disease but it can be caused by a number of conditions which affect the kidney and urinary tract if left left untreated the pressure of the build up of urine which normally flows easily through the urinary tract may cause pain swelling and permanent damage to the kidney hydronephrosis is usually caused by a blockage in the urinary tract or something disturbing the normal working of the urinary tract the urinary tract is made up of kidney the urinary bladder the ureters and the urethra symptoms of the blocked ureter or urinary tract obstruction include pain in the abdomen lower back or sides below your ribs flanks fever nausea and vomiting difficulty in urinating or emptying the bladder now you are going to see the summarizing all these findings in one picture hydro ureter refers to the dilatation of the ureter and is most often caused by obstruction of the urine flow while due to the blockage of the ureters by calculi chronic inflammation luminal or intraluminal neoplasia or accidental ligation during surgery I don't know process is a condition that typically occurs when kidney swells due to urine failing to properly drain from the kidney to the bladder the swelling most commonly affects only one kidney but it can involve both kidneys i don't know process is not a primary disease you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button Thanks.